All right, guys, you're watching this because I'm not here. So I'm going to walk you through the Enneagram project, okay? Um, so this is a combo project. It's a series of Google Slides that you're going to work through, and then you're going to create a graphic at the end that represents your Enneagram. So uh, we've done a lot of exploration during these first couple of weeks. After I get back um, and after this unit, we're going to really start kind of kicking into some career targeting type stuff. But for now, we're still looking at who we are as a person. And this is just another one of those very famous personality tests that got wildly popular, um, maybe around COVID when it kind of kicked up in 2020. So there are nine different types of Enneagrams. You'll take a test um, and it'll label you as, you know, your top strengths. Um, very similar to what we did with Holland Codes, with learning styles, all that stuff. So type one is the reformer, type two is a helper, type three is a, an achiever, and type four is an individualist. Let me move my little thing right here so you can see. All right. And I'm not going to read the characteristics because you'll see those and you have to do some research on them. Type five is an investigator. Type six is a loyalist. Type seven is an enthusiast. Type eight is a challenger. And type nine is the peacemaker. So you'll be one of these, maybe two of these. But before you start, that the first thing you do is you tell me which type or number you would use to describe yourself now. You put that in that box here. And then going forward, it's Decently self-explanatory. I want you to watch this video. This video here doesn't work. You just need to click. Um, it, either, it doesn't play in the slide. It'll take you there. If it doesn't, click on the link up here. Okay, you watch that video to learn about the Enneagram. Then you're going to learn about each type. Um, a lot of people take a lot of pride in their number. So that's why I think it's important for you to review each type. So you'll click on one of these links for each type and you'll give me the answer. Two sentences at least to describe that type. You'll do it for all nine types, okay? Now, like I said, this is a multiple day project. So I would see, imagine you'd get to this point through day one, okay? Then you take it, right? So step one says, visit the following website and take the Enneagram test. So you'll click on that link and you'll click start test and you'll take that. After you get your results, you'll actually click on this website to view um, what it means because Truity doesn't give you very detailed results. So we're gonna use the second site to kind of look through them. Okay, so all you, all you have to do on this slide, on slide seven, is take the test and then review your results using that second site. You'll give me your Enneagram type here. So you'll put your big number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you'll answer these two questions about it. Make sure you see that it says why or why not. There'll be text boxes there. And then you're going to read this article right here, okay, about uh, the nine different types of Enneagrams and their mindfulness and the self-awareness you get by knowing that, okay? And you'll answer these two questions. They go with it. Very simple. I imagine you'll do most of this on day two, okay? Then for the third day of the project, you're gonna create a graphic. Um, I would strongly recommend you use Canva to do this. We've done that earlier with the All About Me slide. This is a uh, just one simple graphic. I imagine this, you'll get this done in a day, okay? And your graphic is gonna make sure that you've put your name, your number on there somewhere. Okay, so you're gonna tell me what your number is. Okay, so here's what it needs to include. It needs to have a cohesive color scheme that reflects the personality of your number. Meaning that like, um, if you are a, um, a helper, maybe you're not gonna have a bunch of like uh, blood and bl or like red that represents blood and black and darker colors, you're probably gonna have something lighter, right? So you wanna make sure your color scheme matches your personality number. You need to have your number and the type clearly listed. I should be able to look at it and see that you are an investigator, you are a helper, you are a challenger, whatever the case is, all right? What your type is known as, I was just talking about that, the honest one, the competitor, the thinker, okay? At least five graphics or, or icons that show what your type is, okay? You'll probably have to go back and maybe do some research about what makes up this person. Um, a quote, a famous quote that correlates with your type. Don't just make your own, but go do some research and. That you can quickly Google search a variety of quotes that you think match this. You're also going to put two strengths of your type, one fear of your type, and two things that motivate your type. Okay, so I have an example on the next one. Here's one right here. You see the big number. Got a quote from Nelson Mandela. Um, I'm the achiever. This is not mine. This is somebody that else did the achiever. And then they have all these little graphics on here. That's what I'm looking for, right? Not super hard, but a well designed thing that shows, and they went with gold because of the achiever trophies, right? So when you get done on Canva, or you can use Google Slides if, you're, if you feel better about that, you're going to copy and paste your graphic below right here. You have to put your graphic here, okay? Have to, all right? 
Then on these next few slides, you just have options here on how to do it. It tells you how to walk it in through graphics, uh, through Canva. Uh, when you're finished, you click download, and you download it as a JPEG or PDF. That'll help you, allow you to, I would recommend the JPEG because then you can easily put it into the uh, Google slide um, on slide 12, okay? And then same thing, you get instructions for Google Slides, how to do that and how you can do it. And it says, don't forget to turn your work in on Canvas. That is the best. So when you get done, you've got to click submit. So you're going to make sure you have all the slides done. And you're going to make sure you have your uh, graphic posted in these slides because that's what I'm grading. All right. Feel free to email me if you have any questions.